My name is Charlie Joseph, head coach of Arblane Wildcats. For my time as an athlete in Arblane, we were always, uh, we, we wasn't much athletes, but we were always dominant. And after getting a scholarship, went away, came back, you know, and Arblane was dormant. I, some, some people persuade me to, to come and coach. So I ended up in another club, Silver Bullet, and spent about two years there. And we decided, I didn't like it there. And we decided that um, we're gonna open back up Abilene. And with the input of myself and my Gibbs and previous to that there was Dave Sandy. We, we embarked on a on an off-season program that would help us to perform better in the on-season. What happened in, in the past is that the success of Ablain uh, sort of gave rise to this dormancy because most of the athletes got scholarships, went away. And think most of the athletes and also the coaches because you know the last set of coaches we had um, um, with with the um, with the eighties bunch he went away. We have had a whole lot of curved athletes representing Abilene and also Olympians. Every year, Abilene Wildcats have at least six to eight athletes going on a scholarship, and you can see it on the international and national um, stages. But the numbers have grown so much since, since we started. You know, we started off with, um, in fact, in your days, in, in, in your days, Chiron, we had about what, 25 athletes, maybe. <laughs> 25 athletes in 20, 2007. And, and now it's, uh, it's over 180. Our goal is to, to eventually to produce local athletes. Athletes that train locally, and beat people on the world stage. We get them from, let's say, seven, eight years old. Uh, we tried to bring them into the club and, and let them enjoy themselves. Well, this club is a family club, so the relationship with the coaches is very close. They treat us like family and so on. So any problem we have in, we could go to, to the coach and they'll sort us out. First of all, I didn't like him. <laughs> First of all, but... You know, he helping me through with, you know, he's like an ex-father to me, helping me run the 400, booking on schools and stuff for me. Uh, he's a great help towards others. I see the relationship bond between others and not only me alone, but all those other guys, Judah, Gerard, Jonathan, Dion, all those other guys, you know. Well, we have a strong um, movement when it comes to discipline and respect, right? As I always tell the athletes, you can have all the talent in the world without discipline and without respect, you can only get so far. We are doing our part in encouraging all youths to come, whether you are good or bad, in the sense of you are not an athlete, come and we will make you good. We like to know that we, we're doing something for the athletes, at least develop them, developing them for their future um, uh, careers, you know, most athletes, you know, join join the clubs so as to as a vehicle, as, as a conduit to to get scholarships and go away to study. My advice is to that you have to set your goals, work hard at what you at you're doing. Any athlete, in regardless of the sport, you must have discipline. Discipline is the key to success and you must work hard. I have advice for any athletes out there aspiring to be great. Set goals, have dreams, and work towards it. Continue to train hard. When you train hard, it will pay off in the end. Hard work matters. Keep pushing hard. You know, always trust God, always make it there. You know, not only seeing that I alone making it, but it could also work for them too. And always put God first and keep doing their best. Possibly you need to be disciplined. Everywhere else, discipline, focus. Do not follow your friends. Um, set, set yourself a goal and go out hard and do it.